Hello and welcome to video number eight. This is Shay Guevara and we are doing the final calculations for our valuation exercise and I'm going to do some sensitivity testing in this video as well. So where we ended up at the end of our last video is we had discounted the future cash flows we had incorporated them here to say this is the present value of the free cash flows this is the present value of the terminal value then we added these two together to get the enterprise value the next step is to subtract out the current debt that the business has because what we are calculating here is the value of the equity so I'm going to subtract out any current debt and we go look on the balance sheet and we see that there is no debt. This is at the end of 2017. So we put in a zero there. The next step is to add back any cash that the business currently has on hand. And if we look up here on the balance sheet, we will see that the cash position here is the net cash position, cash less overdraft, is in fact 80,000 Rand in cash. So let's put that there. And we can say the enterprise value less the current debt, add any cash, and you end up there with the equity value of the business. All right, so quite simple once we get down to the end there, just a few steps that we have to go through. And now we can say, well, if this business is worth 5,6 million, what is 20% of it worth? And we can take the decimal places out. We don't need that. We can see that 20% of the business is worth 1,131,000. To remind you, we need to go back to the case study and let's put that in here it says here a venture capitalist offers you 1 million for a 20 percent stake in your business discuss the merits of this offer so it turns out that 1 million being offered for this business is on the basis of this data seems like fair value you might even argue it's worth a little bit more but before i come to any final conclusions about this valuation what I do want to do is I want to explore some things that relate to the discount rate and the growth rate and some other variables so let's just start by assuming that our free cash flow might grow at four percent rather than three percent and you can see that the addition of growth into our valuation assumptions is going to immediately increase the value of the business and if we think and if we can motivate that perhaps this discount rate of 25 percent is too high and a discount rate of say 22 percent i'm just picking that for the sake of argument to see what's the impact on my valuation well, now you can see that just a decline or a reduction of the discount rate has had a tremendous impact on the value of our business. Remember, the buyer of this business might be saying to you, the venture capitalist, no, well, we think an appropriate discount rate for a business like this is closer to 30%. In that case, they're going to be paying you a million rand when in fact the value of the business is maybe only 700,000, in which case it might be a good deal. And perhaps you can justify a 5% increase in the, just in the growth rates into the future. So you can start to see the sensitivity around just those two numbers. So let's put these back to where they were, 3% and 25%. And we can scroll back up to the top we can consider what if you are able to manage your business more efficiently and negotiate better prices from your suppliers and if you are able to get your profit margin up to 75 percent well let's go and see what that has done to our valuation here well there we go 
it's now gone to 1.6 see what it was before at 70 percent our valuation was 1.1 million and at a 75 percent profit margin we can see our valuation has gone up to 1.6 million and immediately you can see the sensitivity of our valuation model to just a couple of inputs let's try another what if what if we said to our customers that you may not buy on credit and therefore all coffees must be paid for cash and our credit sales portion goes down to zero percent so let's think about practically what that's going to mean for the business it's going to mean that we have no debtors and what's going to happen then is we're going to have a better cash flow in our business in other words we're going to have higher free cash flows and you can see that it, that has had a marginal improvement in the valuation of the business because there's more cash coming out of the business since it's not in your customers pocket and we can keep going I'm not going to do any more here that's good enough in fact I'm going to do one more I'm going to ask what if you are able to reduce your capex per fit out to say 850,000 rather than 900,000 that might be a design change it might be different materials that you use in the fit out and we're going to save ourselves 50,000 Rand per cafe and again you can see you've managed to eke out some more value from your valuation now I'm assuming that that design tweak is not going to be detrimental to your ability to generate cash flows because that would be the trade-off what you should do is go through this one by one to say if I change that design how might it be negative in terms of my free cash flow so that you can get the trade-off for these different changes so there we are we have completed our valuation process we have tested some of the variables and you can see how this has impacted on the valuation ultimately every valuation becomes a negotiation